my gardening angels and welcome back to my channel if you are new here i am jess and thank you so much for joining me today i'm really excited i have some really fun different plants to show you so let's just jump into it i bought carnivorous plants so these carnivorous plants eat bugs or other live creatures as their source of fertilizer so these were all pretty much adapted from poor soil conditions and these plants made it so that they could get their nutrients from insects instead of having to pull it from the soil like most other plants typically do so i have had a horrible fruit fly problem like it's been miserable and so as kind of a last resort option i decided to buy carnivorous plants and I'll go into that a little bit later on the why and hows, but essentially this was my solution to the problem. If you can buy more plants to solve the problem that was caused by plants, that seems like the correct answer to me. I have two different like species here that I bought. Um, I bought these from California carnivores. I found out about California carnivores through a podcast that I was watching or listening to um, that's called In Defense of Plants. If you have watched it, let me know down below and let's talk because I am obsessed with those podcasts. And um, if you haven't, I will, I don't know if I can link it down below, but I'll type it out and you can go to Spotify or um, I know it's on the little podcast app as well and so you should definitely go check those out and let me know if you if you listen to them from here on out but um they're very interesting i really liked the one of talking about carnivores i really liked the one talking about bees and he just has a lot of really unique ones my favorite one i'm sorry this is such a side change it my favorite one and how i got found this channel or this podcast was i was actually listening to an in uh this podcast will kill you, which is a group of disease etologists, and they talk about different diseases, if there's vaccines, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I am an infection preventionist. That's what I do day to day. And so that's kind of my cup of tea. And so I loved listening to their podcast, and they did a collab with this podcast in defense of plants to kind of talk about, I think they talked about um poisonous plants and different stuff like that it was very interesting and so that's how i found in defense of plants but anyhow now we're at carnivore plants you following <laughs> um all right so let me just show you these because these are really fun so these two that i have here in these bowls they're kind of hard to see they kind of look like aliens um they are called sundews but these are super neat they've already done work uh, you can see a bunch of fruit flies have stuck on them um, I've been growing them in these little bowls and I've been putting a little bit of water in them and so they've been sucking them up these have a ton of babies I or like new leaves growing. I think it's doing really well. The dew drops are forming. And then this one is the Drosera capensis orange sherbet plant. And it has kind of um, orange fingers. And so what's unique about these plants is they're called sundews because on the very ends of all of these leaves, they have little tiny fibers that essentially stick out and they grow this super sticky glue glob on the end of all of these fibers and they reflect in the light and they look like dew drops and the fruit flies are attracted to them and they come and land and they get stuck and then these plants eat them for their nutrition and i think that is very interesting and like i said they've done work and i'm surprised they're actually liking that the environment i shipped them here and from california in the middle of a south dakota winter and they survived i added a heat pack though to make sure that they were okay and then the other plant that i bought um are called pings or pingu 
whatever. I'm just gonna write the names on these over here when I show them to you. But so this is a hybrid one. And what's really kind of neat about these plants is they kind of look like little succulents. Doesn't he kind of look like a little succulent? And so that's why I was kind of attracted to these. And then here's the red one is what it says. So these two are actually dormant right now. And so I watered them because they are tropical plants, but I don't water them very often, like maybe once a week with my other house plants. And then this one is actually active right now. And you can kind of see the fruit flies all on him. But what that means and what the pings do is they kind of look like a succulent and when they're dormant, that's kind of what they are. But then during their growing season, they get the sticky glue all over their leaves. And so when a bug or fruit fly lands on their leaf, they get stuck and then they'll fold in and dissolve that bug or maybe not fold in. I don't know. It's very interesting. It's, it's weird to kind of see, but so this one I've been watering regularly because I noticed that sticky film was on its leaf and they've been doing great. And I don't know if they actually solved my problem, but I think they're helping minimize the adults that are flying around and the annoying parts of the problem. So at least they're helping with something. And I don't know if this is necessarily going to solve my issue that I have with fruit flies, but at least it's a shot and at least I'm buying a different type of plant that I've never bought before and having fun doing it. So if you've made it this far in the video, please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment down below with a little emoji so I know that you made it through. Uh, carnivorous plants are really fun. I will include a link down to California carnivores below for you. Uh, go check them out. I got a heat pack with mine when they got shipped here and it was just it went really smooth. All the plants made it just fine, even though I was a little worried that it was going to snow here. Um, but they're all looking really good. They've all put on new growth already. Um, not so much the dormant ones, but they look good. And um, yeah, I am really impressed. So go check those out. It's a different, fun kind of plant that you don't see very often. And I think a lot of you will enjoy them. All right. Thank you guys. Bye. So look at all those new leaves coming up, little curly cues. They're so neat. This one has a bunch of them too that are starting to come up down there. But this one's really neat. It has all these red little tentacle looking things. I'm trying to find some bugs on this one for you. There we go. There's a few. And then here's one of the pings. Isn't that just kind of interesting? And then here's a close-up of the dormant one. Just kind of looks like a little succulent.